amazing. Ziggy knew exactly where to look for those wild beehives. Give me the smoker. Oh, is that that radar station you were talking about? Yeah. Radiation from that dish is so intense, there's no telling what it would do to you. I wonder what would happen to our ad in Sony if they got a good dose of that radiation. I don't know, Doctor. That's your department. Sit down. The lower one will be easier to experiment with. Let's be careful, huh? I'll smoke them and quiet them down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, they're adding Sony. Thanks to our greedy smuggling friends in business. Okay. Yeah. Well, here goes the Farron. Hey. Let's get out of here. I don't know what's happening, but something's going on here. I mean, Boy, are they confused. They are really confused, John. I think they're... They're, fi they're attacking each other right here, look. They can't. What are you doing? Looking for something. Uh-huh. What? I found her. Be careful. Yeah. She's what? dead. Her own work has killed her. Oh. Your Uncle oh. Ziggy was right. Oh, John, it, it works. works. It works. Oh, 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 God, it oh. Quick, get in you, get in you, be safe. South Covina. And don't forget the theme of this year's Rose Parade. On the road to happiness. Beautiful. Just fantastic. 4,500 hand-sewn azaleas.
sensational. Boy, I'll tell you, that Millican High School marching band certainly has one of the very best baton twirlers. Take it easy, Sam. It wasn't the hives, it was that Dr. Morris, the one you picked to bring the frozen bee sperm from Brazil. He stole some, sold it to the competition, and let their bees escape. Now, the question is, what are we going to do about it? Well, it's my responsibility as an undersecretary of the Department of Agriculture to come up with some recommendation. Now, the only thing I can see to get out of this mess is to find a way to kill these bees, all of them. All of them? We just got the new project started. This year we expect to show record profits. Now look, look, I can't hedge on this one. I don't want an investigation started, and I'm sure you don't either. Now I've decided I'm going to give all the funding to this Dr. Hummel. Give it to him slowly. I'm sure you realize that there's got more involved in here than profits. And I'm sure you know what I mean. So, as you may know, the queen bee leads her swarm from the hive in order to start a new colony somewhere else. Now, the drones, that is the fertile males, must mate with her on this so-called nuptial flight. They find her by scent. That is, the queen bee gives off a chemical odor, which the drones can detect for hundreds of yards. So what Dr. Hummel proposes is the synthetic manufacture of this chemical, which is known as a pheromone, and can be sprayed into the atmosphere, and we believe cause the drones to become confused and attempt to mate with each other rather than with the queen bee. Gentlemen, Dr. Norman, I'm sold. You've made a brilliant presentation, and I feel that your solution will resolve all this problem. Well, uh, there are certain benefits. On balance, it's worth considering. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sandra, now you will see something frightening. The battle to the death between the new queens. The survival of the fittest, or rather, of the most brutal. A reflection of the human political process, in a way. Uncle Ziggy, that really hardly seems democratic. By the way, do you still have all of Frank's notes? Yes, I've been typing them up for you. Oh. And I also have his account books, too. And Uncle Ziggy, I've been meaning to ask you, would you take a look at them with me? Franklin, just before he was killed, he, he was very upset about something he found out. Something about the money. Yeah. I'll have a look at them later. <laughs> 